Number 26. When landing a spectacular somersault, a 40 kilogram gymnast decelerates by pushing straight down on the mat. Calculate the force she must exert if her deceleration is seven times the acceleration due to gravity. Explicitly show how you follow Andrew's steps. All right. So first thing is free body diagram. So create your axes. Okay. And let's say that right in the middle here, this dot will represent the gymnast. So what you have to think about is if we're trying to calculate the force she is exerting, meaning the force the gymnast is exerting, we must know the forces acting on the gymnast. Okay, cool. So what are the forces acting on the gymnast? Pretend you're the gymnast. Okay, think about it. The force, there is a force that will always act on every object on Earth. It is the force of gravity. So let's show that. So there's a force of gravity. And what way does it point down? Well, what way does it point down? Down. Man, if only all the questions on your test were that easy. Which way does it point? It points down, right? Um, so this will represent the weight or the force. And you might call it F sub G, force due to gravity. That's also known as the weight, tomato, tomato. Um, and you know that the uh, weight here is calculated by taking the mass of the object and multiplying it by the gravitational acceleration, g. Now, that is the force of gravity. Uh, what else is this gymnast experiencing? Now, you know, think about it. There's a ground. Here's the gymnast. Look at that. And she is coming right down, uh, hitting the mat, and she's slowing her body down. Okay. So, wait a minute. If the gymnast, all of a sudden, she's in motion, and then when she comes down to here, you know, she stops, there must be some other force pushing up on her, right? What's that force called? Well, it's called the normal force, or in the context of this, I'm just going to call it the force that the mat is producing, right? Because she's pushing down on the mat, and therefore, Newton's third law says the mat is pushing on her. So there is another force here pointing up. I'm going to call that F sub M. You can call it the normal force, though. Okay, doesn't really make a difference. But that's the force that the mass's mat is producing on her. Okay, and that's unknown. It did not tell that to me in the problem. All right, cool. Now, these are the forces acting on the gymnast. The force, the mat is producing a force and gravity is producing a force, right? And we know that in order to, you know, set up our equation, right, Newton's second law, right, the whole F equals MA stuff, that the sum of the forces acting on a particular body in a particular direction, this case the y direction, shall equal the mass of that object we're talking about, meaning the gymnast, multiplied by the acceleration that the gymnast is experiencing. Okay? Cool. Now, what can I plug in here? Well, I can plug in my two forces. Yes. Now, when you do this, you can write that it should be the force of the mat, the force of the mat, plus, now this might uh, just show you a different way to look at it, plus the force due to gravity or AKA plus the weight. However, though, when you plug in the weight, it should be negative. Why? Because it's pointing down, right? So you can either do this now, you know, plug in the negative number here, and leave your positive out there, or you can just simply subtract it already, right? The force that the mat's producing minus than the weight. Okay, it doesn't really make a difference, but just be careful with your signs. Should equal then the mass of the gymnast multiplied by the acceleration of that gymnast. Now, you might say, well, we're doing deceleration. That's fine. Deceleration is a type of acceleration. It's just decelerating means that the velocity is slowing, right? Uh, but anytime a velocity is changing, it's called acceleration. Um, so this would be considered... I don't even want to use the word negative acceleration because it's not going to be negative in this case, but opposite acceleration, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, so now what we're looking to do is let's start kind of writing down what we might know, okay? So do we know the force the mat's producing? No, we do not. So that's the unknown. Okay, do we know the weight? Well, we said that the weight is equal to the mass of the gymnast times the gravity, right? So we might say, do we know the mass of the gymnast? Oh, goody gumdrops, we do, right? It's 40. Okay, so maybe let's start plugging in some stuff. So it's going to be 40 kilograms times then the gravitational acceleration, which is just 9.8. If I use G, it's positive. If this wasn't, if it was A, then it would be negative, okay? Um, that shall equal now. 
the mass of what? Well, the mass of the gymnast again, 40 kilograms multiplied by the acceleration. Now, do we know the acceleration? Well, it didn't like tell it to us like here it is on a silver platter, but it does say that the deceleration or AKA acceleration, right? It's just a slowing, it's the velocity slowing, is seven times the acceleration due to gravity. So what is the acceleration due to gravity? 9.8, right? What would seven times that number be? Well, do the math, right? Do the math. Take out the calculator if you need, 9.8 times seven, and it's 68.6, 68.6 meters per second squared. Now think about this. The What's important here is understanding now the sine value of this acceleration, okay? So if the gymnast was coming down, right, uh, and landing on the mat, and her velocity was negative, and eventually she stops, that means there must have been an upward acceleration. Okay, there must be an upward then acceleration. Now I know that sounds a little funky because it's like, well, it's decelerating, so shouldn't it be negative? That's why I was hesitant to use the word negative before. Okay, all the deceleration means velocity slowing, period. Whether that means the acceleration should have a negative sign or not is totally dependent upon what the heck we're talking about, all right? So the acceleration here is the unknown, but I know it's gonna be positive. So therefore, I'm gonna plug in this number positive, okay? So let's add that on in. Let's write that down. So we got 68.6, okay? Guess what we need to do now? We can solve for an unknown, force the mat, right? So just do some algebra here. This should be easy. You know, the force of mat, add, you know, multiply this, then add it on over to this side after you multiply that. I'm gonna do it all in the calculator. So 40 times 68.6 plus then 40 times 9.8 essentially. So this works out to be now uh, 3136, okay? 3136, all right. And that's in terms of Newtons. Uh, now, I guess considering significant figures, if I go back, you know, there's three sig figs, so we should now round this to 300, uh, 3,140, okay? So 3,140 newtons. All right, this is the force that the mat's producing on her. Now, what's the question actually asking? Well, the, the question is asking, okay, uh, what force must she exert on the mat, right? That's the question. Now, we found before here, we found the force that the mat exerted on her. Why did we have to do it that way? Because the system of the problem is the gymnast. And therefore, I need to only consider the forces acting on the gymnast, not being produced by the gymnast. Cool? But according to Newton's third law, that if the mat is pushing on her, right, or it's acting on the gymnast, then that means there must be an equal but opposite force pushing down on the mat. And who is pushing down on the mat? The gymnast. So therefore the force that the gymnast is producing on the mat is equal to 3,140 Newtons. Now the sign would be negative, right? But you know, they want to just know, I guess, calculate the force. I don't know if we really need the negative sign. That That's open to interpretation in this case. It doesn't ask for the magnitude, it says the force. Is there a such thing, by the way, as negative force? In reality, right? Is there a such thing? It, either, either there is some force or there isn't. Negative just implies direction, period. Okay? So it says the force. It didn't say just the magnitude. So I'm going to leave in the negative sign, but, you know, some computer programs... Uh, <laughs> might not be that smart. So you know what's going to happen. Guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope this helped. If it did, give me a shout out. Leave a comment. All right? Love to hear from you. Also, if you can, like and subscribe. Tell your classmates. That'd be an awesome way to help our channel grow. And uh, we wouldn't be here uh, without you guys. So we appreciate you very much. All right? See you soon.